RX's denoiser module provides a great deal of flexibility when working with different types of steady state noise, ranging from hiss and fan noise to electrical buzz. This makes it ideal for cleaning up both spoken word recordings, like podcast interviews, and on musical recordings. First, we'll start with an example of dialogue recorded in a noisy environment. This audio example contains a lot of broadband noise, mostly coming from computer fans. This is recorded in the Isotope server room. Notice when looking at RX's spectrogram during quiet sections, there are speckles which represent broadband noise surrounding the program material. RX can use these quiet sections to train the denoiser. Select an area where there's only noise and no needed program material, then simply hit the train button. If there isn't a suitable section of just noise, you can use the auto train button and RX will try to find a noise profile for you. Once you've captured a noise profile, adjust the suppression control and hit preview. For best results, try starting with suppression in the range of 10 to 15 dB. This usually gives the most natural sounding results. This is recorded in the Isotope server room. One thing you probably noticed when we played back through that example is there are chirpy or watery sounding noises left behind by the noise reduction process. Unlike many other programs, RX can tame these artifacts with the smoothing control. approximately 15 feet from uh, the servers, so there's a lot of background fan noise. When you've found the best setting, simply hit Apply to run the denoiser on your file. You may also want to try one of the other algorithms in the drop-down menu. Algorithms B and C take longer to process, but in some cases they yield even better results. In some cases, you may want to try the advanced denoiser mode. This mode exposes more parameters, allowing you to fine-tune the noise reduction process. In this example, a recording was made with equipment that was not grounded correctly, leading to hum and buzz that extends from the low frequencies to high frequencies. You can see this in the spectrogram as horizontal lines during quiet sections. This is what's known as tonal noise, or noise that is concentrated at specific pitches. This example, like the first example, also contains broadband noise, but it's not as prominent as the buzz you hear. RX's denoiser allows you to have independent control over broadband noise reduction and tonal noise reduction. This allows you to suppress tonal noise aggressively while only applying a small amount of broadband noise reduction, or vice versa. In examples like this one, that means you can get cleaner results with less artifacts. <laughs> As we preview the results, we can hit the bypass button to hear the untreated audio file. If you're ever unsure about what settings will give you the best results, try using the compare settings window. This allows you to compare different denoiser settings side by side. Notice that I can select each of the results in the Compare Settings window to preview them, and see the result in the spectrogram. <laughs> 